All right, so look, this one's a little different now. This had the five X squared, so that was the A. This is now an H. So again, if you're not looking, if, here, yeah, let's go in. Okay, remember, it's gonna give it to you cleaned up. So you're given this, but yet you should understand there's an A value here that's one. It's X minus H, X minus H plus K. So if you guys see an X plus five, it's really X minus the value of H, which is negative five and then plus k, which is zero. So this is your a, h, k. Okay, so what's my a value? One, is that number positive or negative? Positive. So then, is it concave up or down? If it's positive, it's concave up always. It's looking like this. Okay, all right. What's my H value? Negative five. Negative five. So look, when you guys see X plus five, whatever's inside the parenthesis, you're always gonna go opposite H. So you're looking at X plus five. It looks like H is positive, but you go opposite what you see, which is negative five, because the form is really X minus H squared plus five plus K, okay? All right, and then what's my K value? Zero. Zero. All right, so what is my vertex? Your vertex is a point H, K, so my vertex is what? Negative five, zero. Negative five, zero. And it goes in the third slot and just makes space so you can go up, up, down, down. All right, let's rip paper. All right, number line. If this is negative five, what's number one number to the right and one number to the left? Negative six, negative four. Right. Negative six, negative four. So negative four, negative six. These two will have the equal output values. And then you just go to right, to left. Oh my gosh, how? How is it ring again? I'm not answering it. It's it's all this in again, you guys, it's R202. Okay, and then you get negative three, negative seven, and those two equal up, yeah? I'll call them right after. It's so funny. Okay, and so grab a calculator. So you have x plus five squared. Do not change the positive to a negative. I do have students that will do that. So if you want to substitute a negative three, it is parenthesis, whoopsie, it is parenthesis negative three plus five squared and you get four. Because, rip paper, if you have y equal x plus five squared and y is negative three plus five squared, I just took that negative three in the table, substitute it for x, what's negative three plus five? Two, what's two squared? Four, right? Okay, so then negative seven is four as well. And if you don't believe it, here, I'll just solve it. What's negative seven plus five? Whoops, five. That's negative two, what's negative two squared? Four as well. Okay, so that's why they're both the same. Okay, negative four, just go back, delete, and you get one, one. The phone rang again, Alderson. <laughs> like literally I'm recording today and he's calling on there, it's so funny. It's okay, I probably do that to other teachers. Okay, um, we're in quadrant two, right? Yeah, we're in quadrant two, so you guys know what that is, right? So X, Y, right? This is one, two, three, four, right? Okay, so what am I at? Zero, oh, oh, six, seven. So one, two, here's negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. That's four, and there's one. 
Okay, so if we plot negative 3, 4, so this one's 4, negative 4, 1, and here. And you want to make your parabola with a curved bottom, not a cusp, like an, um, a V, like an absolute value function. And there is a completed parabola. So if you really want to be successful with graphing quadratics, you got to know your AHK, this is for vertex form, your AHK, you want to know how to get the vertex, but you really have to know how to build a table, like input, output, substitution. Oh, it's right here. Thank you. 